So now that we've finished the easiest script in the world, I'm just going to throw away this go to mouse pointer. And instead of doing it as a mouse click, let's try doing it where we use the keyboard arrows. And so in that case, I'm going to have an if. So under the orange, or yeah, I suppose that's orange yellowish control area, there's an if that's uh, four down. And I'm going to put that inside the forever. And you'll notice that the if has two spaces available. It has the regular mouth um, that you'll see is quite common, but it also has this diamond, sort of diamond shape. And for diamond shaped things, you need to find diamond shaped pieces, which we have under the baby blue sensing area. And so we want to know if a specific key has been pressed. So that's this one here, key space pressed. You'll notice there's a little triangle on that and pretty much every key is available, but it sort of knows that we're probably going to want the arrows, so they're at the top of the list. And then as I mouse over, or as I drag it over this diamond shape, it should highlight. Once it highlights, I can just let it go, and it will fit into the space. So if the up arrow is pressed, then I want this cat to move up. And the easiest way to do that is to go to my dark blue motion area, and I'm just going to go down a little ways. So one, two, three, no, I'm not going to use those. One, two, no, I'm not going to use those. Uh, one, two, three, well, I might want to, at the very beginning of the game, tell it to go to a specific location, but that's fine for right now. What I really want to do, if I click the up arrow, is I want to change something. And this is a great chance for you to talk about math and X and Y. Do I want to change X or do I want to change Y? Well, I know from my math class that Y goes up and down. So I'm going to change Y by 10. And either if I click on the script to highlight it or if I click on the green flag and then nothing happens because you need to actually click the up arrow on your keyboard. So I click the up arrow on my keyboard and the cat moves up by 10. And if I don't want it to move up quite so much, I can change that to say, oh, let's say three. I'll just pull the cat down again and then not doing anything with my mouse, just up arrow with keyboard and it goes up. So take a moment right now, just see if you can duplicate this a couple more times and get all four arrows working for you.